Hello all, welcome to oratrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we configure the workflow rules in spreadsheet. Let's get into agenda. The first thing is we'll understand the navigation of the workflow rules using spreadsheet and how do we download the Oracle standard template and also how do we customize the rules for the GL general and also how do we download the customized rules in a JSON format. The first thing is how do we navigate? We have a task list called Manage Workflow Rules and Spreadsheet. Navigate to this particular one. And once you navigate to this particular Manage Workflow Rules and Spreadsheet, you should be able to see this particular screen. In this here, you, if you observe, the functionality is available only for three workflows. The first one is Asset Transaction Approval, nothing but Fixed Asset Transaction. Other one is Invoice Approval, it is AP Invoice Approval. The third one is general approval, GL general approval, which is at the batch level. And we have two buttons. One is upload and other one is download. Okay. So the upload is for the purpose of uploading the custom rules and download is for the purpose of downloading the standard templates. Okay. So here you can observe here the, to customize the any of the workflow. First of all, you need to have the basic template, which is available, right? You need to get the Oracle standard template and then you customize it according to your requirement. So it's like FBDI data, FBDI sheet. You just download the FBDI, FBDI standard file. Then, you know, like you mentioned the custom data, then upload. A similar process here to customize the GL general approval rules. First thing what we have to do is we have to download the template, which is an Excel SM file. And here it provides a couple of sample options also. You can go with the basic template or you can select the either one sample template one or two. It's like a more examples which are available in the template one as well as in the template two. Once you download the template, the next thing what you have to do is you can observe here, th this particular template, it has two sheets. First, first one is instructions, other one is general approval rules. In the general approval rules, we have to add up our custom rules. Once the rules are added in the custom rules, you just click on generate rule file. It will generate a GIF file it will generate a gif file once you define the rules and after that once you click on generate rule file it will generate a gif file okay once this that is done the next step what you have to do is again go back to the manage workflow rules spreadsheet page and you just click on upload button once you click on upload button select the zip file and then once you select the zip file click on submit it will provide you a warning because this particular step will overwrite all the rules which are there for that particular general so we have to be very careful when you are uploading this particular sheet okay once you click on okay it will submit an ess job and you just need to wait for a couple of seconds once it is done you can check the status if it is successfully uploaded it tells you that if it is error out also it will tell you what is error okay and this how we can customize a GL general. And the last one is how do we download the BPM rules? So in the same sheet, you can observe here in the same page, you just expand the expand this particular migrate rules from BPM. It shows a download button. Once you click on the download button, you select the workflow and then click on submit. It will generate a JSON file, okay? So now we'll try to discuss all the things we have been discussing. So the first thing is let us see. So I'll just navigate here for our understanding. So I'm in the home screen now. Click on the username and set up and task on maintenance. Click on task list, click on search. And here you just search manage workflow rules in spreadsheet. So I'll click here. Once we click here, it shows the list of approvals which are available. And you can observe here when I click on download, it shows a couple of options for us. Okay, one minute, it's not showing any pop-up. Okay, it's selection of record was not correct. Let me check it again. Let's say, I'll click here, yeah. Now, if you observe, right, it is providing three options for me. Let us say if I select the other one, AP invoice, let's see what option it shows. So it, now if you observe here for the AP invoice, it is providing four samples. And similarly, maybe if we select the first one, I hope it has only one sample, right? Simply downloaded the template. This is for the asset one. So for the general one, the one which you are discussing, I'll just click here. And now it shows a couple of options for us. I click on general approval basic template. Okay. You just click on that and it will download the Oracle standard template. Okay. So I'll just open this one general template. 
okay so here if you observe i'll just click on enable editing and still it is giving me some kind of security risk right the first thing is when before opening this particular template the step you have to do is i'll just go to the file you just double click uh, you can just right click here on the file and check the properties okay alt enter also you can do it and what you do is make sure that you unblock it you just make sure that you unblock it and click on apply and then open the file now we should not be able to see any security risk just enable content you will not see any warning here okay and now in this one general approval rules you can observe here so it provided one default rule and you can just follow as you can add up your custom rules accordingly okay once you fill up the content here what you have to do is you just need to click on generate rule file so this particular step will generate a gif file within the same location where your xlsm file was there okay so i'll just open the one which i have already designed okay which i ordered a couple of rules okay so this is the one yeah I'll just delete the zip file for now i'll open this one so in this i already have two participants okay so can you can observe here i added two participants or a general batch approval and or a general batch approval 002 and you can also observe the same information when we upload the template right so the template can also be available i mean all the rules will be available in the work list in the bpm work list the old way of creating the the approvals customization okay and still you can customize from here also and now i just already uploaded this particular example right so i could see there are two participants now what i'll do is let us say i want to show you how to be customize it so i already have two rules let us say i want to add one more rule so i'll just simply click on add block now a new block called new block created i'll just mention it as 003 as my participant name okay and i'll say i'll just give a name to this particular rule here this is a rule description user approver amount up to 10000 okay select a specific information here let us say you can mention the user or maybe if you have any specific logic you can mention that condition you want to mention the condition here let us say batch amount greater than 10,000 instead of up to I'll say greater now what is happening here I just added one more rule once you add the rule you just click on the instruction and here you have a couple of options here now we have to go with this one generate rule file so this particular step will generate a zip file in the same location where we have this particular xlsm file so i have my xlsm file here this is the file and it was generated just now and if you just open the zip file it has a json file and also it has the same standard template which we have been using so i'll click here i'll go here i'll go to the instance now so what we have to do you just need to click on upload select the file and click on submit and this particular step will give you a warning now once i click on submit it will give a warning and then click on ok so this particular step will run an ess job okay so the process got submitted and you can just wait for a couple of seconds can refresh in progress yep it got successfully loaded now we can also validate the information here let us say i can reload this particular bpm work list sometimes it will not get refreshed so easily let's say if it shows three yep that's perfect our third rule got added just now okay and the name it's like uh, the same name what we mentioned for our particular group the block name i mean to say right and you can see the role inside this one if i click on the business role it shows the role which you have defined 
yeah this is a rule which we have defined and clearly tells that this rule was created by spreadsheet now other one i want to show you so like how do you download the rules right let us say i can select this particular general approval and click on download bpm rules and you can select the workflow and click on general approval just click on submit this process will download the rules in json format you can also just open this one and by default it shows the data on a single line maybe if you at all if you have a notepad plugin with the um, json tools you can use that and here in my system i have my i have this particular plugin i'll just click on pretty print current json file so it provides the indentation of the json uh, file so that you know we can try to observe in a like, meaningful manner if at all if you are aware of the json or else you can just ignore this file and what you can do is you can once you download the file you can just go to the standard template let us say if at all if you don't have the template which is already uploaded by some other developer then what you can do is you can download any of the standard template and just click on import rules in spreadsheet and then just click on downloads and select the json file so what will happen is the rules will get uploaded into this template and then you just modify it according to your requirement okay so this is how we can make use of the this XLSM file of general rules in spreadsheet. So you can now, we have seen how do we download the template, how do we customize it, and how do, how do we download the rules also. So this is all about the customization of the workflow rules using spreadsheet for GL General. Thank you.